New at six, Milwaukee is Wisconsin's largest city and a main reason why the medical examiner's office is reporting more than 200 homicides in the county this year. Now, the city of Milwaukee is responsible for nearly all of them, while some have been reported in smaller communities. So what's driving the violence? Sean Gallagher takes a closer look. It's a record nobody wants to break. More people have been killed in Milwaukee County this year than ever before, and there's still a month to go. The rear window literally rolled down, and when it started rolling down and got halfway, the barrel was pointed directly at me. If it weren't for the bone in his arm, Travis Landry could have added to the county's growing murder total. I saw the gun. I actually saw the bullet come out the gun when I hit my brakes, and uh, you just start shooting. Travis is the regional vice president for Westcare Wisconsin, a nonprofit that focuses on enhancing community well being. But Sunday, he went from leader to victim when a car pulled alongside him and randomly shot him. I felt the bullet in my arm. I, I felt the burning sensation in my arm. So I got to get to the hospital. Travis is upset, but glad he's still alive to talk about it. Unfortunately, more than 200 people in Milwaukee can't say the same. And of the 202 total homicides so far, nearly three out of four victims are black. Whenever something affects the, the general public, it affects the black and brown community harder because they're a community that has a lack of resources. Hamid Abdal-Jabbar is an outreach supervisor for 414 Life, another group dedicated to decreasing the violence. He says the homicide numbers have a direct correlation to the struggles caused by the pandemic. The poverty level in the black and brown communities are much higher than they are in other communities. And so people are going to do what they have to do to put food on the table. And sometimes that's illegal things. To make it so people don't have to resort to crime just to get by, Hamid says everyone needs to be on board, white or black, in order to make change. He says a single homicide can cost the city roughly $1 million from investigation to prosecution and everything in between. That's money that could be used to make the community better. We could invest it in other areas, in education, in, in, in uh, programs for kids, for jobs, creation. It could be a whole lot of stuff we could invest in. It's a frustrating paradox for Travis. As someone who is helping fix the problem, he now knows firsthand the helplessness victims feel. I can't buy the analogy that there's no resources out here in the community because I'm one of the guys who give resources to the community to make them have enough uh, basic needs to survive or job opportunities. But between his efforts, 414 Life, the Office of Violence Prevention, and others, they all remain optimistic that things will get better. I got a bullet in my arm and I got to have surgery with Thursday or Friday to get removed out of my arm and a rod or, or screws put in it to replace the bone. Um, but this is not going to deter me from doing what I do, um, you know, because we, we need help. You know, we need help out here. Travis says police still haven't caught the person who shot him. Anyone with information is asked to call Milwaukee police in Milwaukee. Sean Gallagher, TMJ4 News.